Army Major General Harold Green's body is back on U.S. soil this morning. The 34-year-old Army veteran called Falls Church home. He was killed earlier this week in an Afghan insider attack. His body was flown to the Delaware, the Dover, Delaware Air Reserve Base, which is home to the nation's largest military mortuary. General Green is the highest ranking U.S. officer killed in combat since the Vietnam War. The 55 year old had been in Afghanistan since January, and these are live pictures right now the back of that uh, C 19 transport plane and members of the family escorted by Army and uh, Air Force personnel leaving. He was killed, of course, uh, in, in uh, Afghanistan. He was uh, in Afghanistan since January, serving as the deputy commander of a support command in Kabul. Fifteen others were injured in that deadly attack, among them eight Americans. The gunman who was shot and killed by U.S. troops joined the Afghan army more than two years ago and was trained by the army. There are reports he had had a dispute with one of his superiors prior to the attack and apparently was just hiding in the bathroom before opening fire. Major General Green will be buried at Arlington National Cemetery next week. Now, in a related development, Secretary of State John Kerry is in Afghanistan this morning. He made an unannounced visit there to meet feuding Afghan presidential candidates in the aftermath of General Green's murder.